A cold winter's night tonight. Hope you're having a great Monday. Boy, uh, winter storm system that went through last night or this Monday morning. Uh, day before that, we had strong to isolate severe storms. Record highs for January on Saturday, New Year's Day. So a very impactful and interesting last couple of days to start off the brand new year. Now, looking ahead, our weather headlines. Main concern tonight, one of the main concerns, icy roads will be possible overnight into early for your Tuesday morning. So for your Tuesday morning commute, allow extra time. Be advised and be aware that some of that glistening moisture on the roads, any moisture left behind will likely uh, be refreezing. Even the, as the roads improve today due to those warm ground temperatures, any overwash of moisture uh, that melted back over the roads will have a chance to refreeze. So that's one of the main concerns. Other concern, uh, check on your uh, family, friends, neighbors. Uh, if they're still without power, uh, certainly it's going to be a very cold night tonight. So uh, keeping that in mind, we had the weight of the snow, the winds that knocked out some power for quite a few uh, for, for quite a few folks. So hopefully everybody's power is starting to come back on after a cold night tonight. Good news, slowly warming back up the next 48 hours for your Tuesday, Wednesday. Next system sliding in Thursday with the chance for a wintry mix, and I'll talk more about that in the seven day forecast. Here's our 12 hour forecast the rest of tonight. And for your Tuesday morning commute, we're going to start out near 20 degrees. So a very cold start, gradual clearing tonight. And then uh, again, some of that uh, icy roads, patchy black ice possible early in the morning. The good news, some sunshine and a little bit more of a thaw uh, tomorrow. The high today was just after midnight, our average high 48. We stayed generally just above freezing during the daytime this Monday. It was cold and the low uh, so far 31. The new low will be just before midnight. 81 one hundredths of liquid precipitation and officially at McGee Tyson Airport, the official snowfall amount 1.3 inches of snow this January 3rd. All right, so let's kind of look back. This is a time lapse uh, recorded. Uh, meteorologist Mike Wisher uh, captured this and showed this earlier this Monday, but this is going back to late last night, really after midnight and 3, 4 a.m. Early in the morning, Sevier County. Look at that. Some whiteout conditions. The rain changed to heavy, wet snow, blowing uh, heavy, wet snow, sticking to everything. Cover the roads, and then the roads with the warm ground temperatures as of late certainly uh, helped to uh, uh, improve a little bit, and then left with a beautiful scene. This was earlier uh, Monday morning in Sevier County. All right, now looking ahead, again, we're going to slowly improve with some sunshine for your Tuesday, and then increasing clouds will be returning on Wednesday, still mainly dry by midweek and a little bit warmer. Our next system, as I mentioned, will start to head our way by Thursday. There's a chance for some of that rain to uh, some wet snow, a wintry mix. It does doesn't look as strong and certainly with this system compared to what we just had. What we just had was a, a strong winter storm system that impacted many areas, but that is our next chance for some wintry weather uh, Thursday, later Thursday and Thursday night. We'll keep you updated this week. 20 degrees tonight, clearing with some ice roads possible. Warming temperatures, mostly sunny, 47 for your Tuesday, near 50 Wednesday. There's that chance for a wintry mix Thursday, followed by cold, dry conditions returning Friday. Then we'll warm it back up in the 50s this weekend. Next chance for precipitation looks like it's in the form of rain showers on Sunday, but a little bit milder in the low to mid 50s.